there's a new game-changing protocol called MCP that's rapidly becoming the universal standard for connecting AI to data and tools. In the next 10 minutes, you'll vibe code not one, but two working MCP servers, even if you're brand new to MCP or coding. First, we'll build a straightforward weather MCP to grasp the basics. Then we'll level up and create a powerful Obsidian MCP, enabling seamless integration of AI into your Obsidian second brain. Learning MCP right now places you in the top 1% of developers, creators, and builders in the AI world. This is your chance to join them. Ready? Let's dive in. What's all this hype around MCP anyway? Imagine building web apps without APIs. Every single integration would require custom code, tailored specifically for each service. It would quickly become messy, complex, and inefficient. APIs solved that by providing a standardized way for software to talk to each other, simplifying app development dramatically. That's exactly what MCP is doing, but specifically for AI models. Until recently, if you wanted your AI models like GPT, Claude, or Gemini to interact with tools, you could do that via function calling. However, each model provider had its own format for function calling, meaning you'd have to rewrite your integration for each model. MCP changes all of that. It introduces a single standardized protocol, meaning you write your integration once, and it instantly works across every major AI model. Adopting MCP early puts you miles ahead, just like developers who adopted APIs early were years ahead of everyone else. Let's get hands-on. First, we'll build a simple weather MCP from scratch, following Anthropic's official documentation, giving your AI assistant real-time weather access in the US. We'll follow the quick start for server developers. You can find a link to it in the video description. We're going to build a weather server that we can use in the Claude desktop. It's the easiest way to start using your MCP servers because Claude desktop integrates with MCP servers very well. So before we start, make sure you have cursor and Claude desktop installed because these will be the main tools we're going to use in the video. Before we start writing any MCP code, we need to set up our project environment. First, We'll create a new directory called weather, initialize our node project, and install the necessary packages. The model context protocol TypeScript SDK, which we'll use to build the MCP server, and Zod for data validation. Next, we create a SRC folder inside our project and add an index.ts file, which is where all our MCP code will live. We also need to quickly update our project configuration. We'll modify the type key in package.json to module and include a build script. To do that, we can copy and paste the JSON from MCP Quick Start into the Cursor Composer and let AI do the edit for us. Then we'll create a tsconfig.json to tell TypeScript exactly how to compile our code. Now our project is ready and we're set to start building our MCP server. Inside our index.ts file, we start by importing the MCP SDK. We set up a new MCP server instance named Weather specifying version 1.00. Next, let's add the helper functions our MCP tools will use behind the scenes. We'll start by implementing a general purpose function to fetch data from the National Weather Service API. This helper handles HTTP requests. Then we'll define a simple formatting function for weather alerts. It takes the raw alert data returned by the API and formats it into readable text that our AI assistant can easily understand and display. With these helper functions and interfaces in place, we're ready to implement our MCP tools. This is the most crucial part as this is where the actual logic is implemented. We register tools using the server.tool method, providing each tool with a clear, detailed description. This description is essential as Claude and other AI models rely on it to know exactly when and how to use each tool. Our first tool, get alerts, fetches active weather alerts for a specific US state. We clearly define its parameter, a two-letter state code, such as CA for California. The handler function fetches alert data from the National Weather Service and formats the information. The second tool, getForecast, allows AI assistance to retrieve the weather forecast for a given location. Here, we specify the latitude and longitude parameters, along with their acceptable ranges. Our function then uses the coordinates to retrieve forecast information and formats the response for easy readability. And that's it. By clearly defining our tools, 
we've given everything to start using our MCP server. Finally, we add the main function that launches our MCP server. Then we need to build our project using the npm run build command to make the server ready. The build command creates index.js file, which will be used to connect with Claude Desktop. Now, let's configure Claude Desktop to use the weather MCP server. To get the configuration file for MCPs, head over to Claude Desktop, go to Settings, Developer, and click Edit Config. Then open the config.json file in the cursor IDE. Now we need to copy and paste the server configuration from the Quick Start Guide and change the path. We can get the absolute path to the built server by using pwd command from inside the directory with the index.js file. Once we save and restart Claude Desktop, we see the new MCP tools appear under the hammer icon, confirming our server is successfully integrated. That's it. Now our MCP server should be fully operational within Claude Desktop. We can test it by asking Claude for the weather forecast for LA. But what if you need something more powerful? Let me show you how to cut your MCP development time in half by letting AI do the coding for you. I'll show you the process by creating Obsidian MCP, an AI assistant that will plug into your second brain nodes. We're going to speed up the development of the MCP using cursor together with the Claude 3.7 AI assistant. Here's how to set yourself up for success. Step one, add MCP documentation to the cursor. To let Claude know how to properly build an MCP, add the official MCP documentation into Cursor's Docs section. If you're using a specific SDK, like TypeScript or Python, you can add that documentation too. Step two, define clear requirements for your MCP. Next, we create a new file named requirements.md in Cursor. This file provides clear structured instructions to Claude. Think of this as your project blueprint detailing exactly what functionality your MCP server should have. You can reference code snippets to guide the server's implementation. Step three, include API documentation for tools. Most MCP servers connect with external APIs. Since we're building an Obsidian integration, we'll add documentation of the local REST API for Obsidian directly into Cursor Docs. This allows us to tag the documentation in Cursor Composer when building the MCP. With these steps completed, we're fully prepared to let AI handle most of our MCP coding. Let's jump straight into it and watch how quickly Claude can help us build our Obsidian MCP. First, I fed our requirements.md and MCP documentation into Cursor, making sure the AI had everything it needed to generate valid MCP code. Cursor generated a complete setup. Tools for searching, reading, and writing files, plus a summarization prompt and main server code but it didn't automatically work in Claude Desktop. This is why I instructed Cursor to review the MCP TypeScript SDK and correct the code base, ensuring it aligned with the MCP specification. Cursor searched web for relevant TypeScript SDK documentation and updated the repository, ensuring it aligned with the MCP specification and could be recognized by Claude Desktop. Finally, I noticed my Obsidian API key for the local API plugin wasn't passing through when launching Claude. Cursor identified that the environment variable needed to be set in the Claude desktop configuration file, so my server would have access at runtime. After these iterations, the Obsidian MCP now runs seamlessly inside Claude desktop. With this MCP, I can search, update, and write to my notes in Obsidian straight from Claude. Let's see how this Obsidian MCP can actually help you in a real-world scenario. In my own Obsidian vault, I keep summaries of YouTube videos from my favorite creators, like Greg Eisenberg, in dedicated notes. Each note stores transcripts, key takeaways, and insights. The problem? When I need to recall a specific detail, I'm stuck manually reviewing a bunch of notes. With the Obsidian MCP, I can simply ask Claude to search those notes and highlight the most important insights. No more scanning through giant text files. Claude can also dig deeper into any snippet I find interesting using that context to generate fresh ideas, expand content outlines, or even draft business plans. Essentially, the Obsidian MCP takes the hassle out of manual note review. It transforms your vault into an interactive knowledge base that Claude can query and analyze, so you get immediate on-demand access to all those valuable insights you've collected. You now have everything you need to start building powerful MCP integrations right away, but why stop here? Check the video description for resources that I used when building my MCP.
you can also start using the Obsidian MCP as I published it to my GitHub. Subscribe for more practical AI insights, hit the bell so you don't miss out, and I'll see you in the next one.